Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Zahir here, and I know it has been a while since I last uploaded with all the recent events worldwide that have been going on of very important issues. I didn't really feel like it was appropriate for me to upload stuff that was... I don't know, up to do da <laughs> however else it is that you want to call it. It just weighed down on me everything that was happening and I just, I didn't feel like it was, it was okay for me to record myself being all happy on the microphone and, you know, that everything is fine because everything is not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I had decided that I had to upload at some point, so I... I'm uploading today. Hello. I think it is very important that we all take a moment and realize what's happening around the world and realize that it's, it's been happening for a really long time, but people maybe just had more time to reflect on it recently due to lockdown measures. So I think it's it's really important that we all kind of take a step back and, and realize that maybe we should do something to to help what is going on. So that is me on the topic. And yeah, so Overwatch stuff. It seems like they decided to put through all of the changes of the experimental card, except the Mora changes, which is quite surprising. I was kind of hoping that they would be put through because it would mean that she would be doing more healing, less DPSing. But you know, maybe they want to rework her and stuff. Like we don't really know what's on their mind. I do think they're going to be doing some sort of change changes to her. I think she should be more resource-based than anything else. Uh, they did put in something for Orisa as well about her halt, just, you know, making more noise and such, probably so that it's easier to avoid maybe by sign cue. We're gonna find out when we see that in play. And yeah, I can see here that they also finally decided to implement the competitive queue, as in, you know, if you get into a game and it gets cancelled right away because somebody leaves, it's going to put you on a special priority queue to try and get you the next game faster, um, simply because you technically would be in a game right now if it wasn't for whatever lever left and got your game cancelled, which I think is really, really good. Next step hopefully will be to just get all games cancelled when a lever leaves, no matter when in the match they leave. I feel that it would be appropriate to just have that match cancelled full stop in order to avoid 5v6s, 4v6s, and sometimes even chain levers where only one person is left on the team. People are not very giving in this community. So when that happens, uh, so far only in my six stacks, I have noticed that we can just give the game to the opponent. And sometimes not even that because I've been in a six stack where five of us would agree to give the win over to the poor fella that remained on the other end that was literally just alone versus us and uh, we still ended up with someone who was just totally ignoring what we were saying and uh, was just focusing on killing them constantly over and over again and just didn't let them win. I feel that that's a type of griefing really I feel and I think it could be easily avoided if we could just cancel the games altogether. Something else that I came across maybe it's just me but today I I don't know, I was playing Lucio in competitive and I came across a Sombra who was hacking me and it just reminded me, see I've been playing so much Mora and so much Mercy that I didn't really remember that when Lucio gets hacked, his even his healing gets turned off. I mean like his whole aura is turned off. He literally cannot do anything. And I think, I mean, do tell me in the comments below, but to me, I think that's something that would need to be changed because if you think about when she hacks any other healer, she will hack the ability, but she'll never stop a healer from healing with her hack. Uh, and that shouldn't really be a thing. And, and instead, Lucio is just kind of in his own section <laughs> where he just can't, he can't do anything because it, the way they they made his aura, it seems to be tied with the ability to switch it between the two. And so when he's hacked with that, the whole thing shuts down, which I think definitely should be changed. I don't know, it's just something that I came across um, today and I wanted to add that in the video as well. And then we've got some other news. We do have the summer games that have been ongoing recently. I don't know if you guys have been watching it. I myself have been watching them and they were quite interesting. There was a lot of stuff in there that was really 
really, really interesting. A lot of new games that I definitely want to play. If you look into my content, please don't look into my content. There's a lot of really bad videos, but you will notice that I don't just do Overwatch. I've been doing Overwatch mostly recently because I'm very interested in it and I really love the team-based element of it and I believe that really no other game has teamwork that makes such a heavy impact on the result of the game. In a lot of other games you can still kind of either solo carry or even just leave your team behind and and just kind of save yourself and it'll win you the games but the way Overwatch is built as a whole it just doesn't allow you to do that so i feel that it's definitely very true to its originality and that's why i really like it and that's why most of my content will be you know related to overwatch but i love gaming as a whole and i've been looking to expand onto different games now i do have some old content of diablo 2 so you can imagine i'm quite ecstatic to just wait until diablo 2 remastered comes out so i'm just kind of literally just waiting until that happens and then you'll definitely be seeing some videos on that but I definitely did find a lot of other games that are very interested so you, you can definitely expect some videos on different games sometimes near the future I'll just have to kind of think about how to schedule them you could say and i think i'll be waiting for my external hard drive first just so that i can you know have the space to install them and yeah so yeah there was a lot of really interesting stuff there is a rumor that overwatch 2 might actually come out this year because apparently there was a GameStop in germany that accidentally published overwatch 2 for sale for the usual 70 odds euros you know that that you would have for a new a brand new game and of course that sparked some uh, controversy about the topic because if we think about the fact that in summer games if you look at all the companies that are listed in summer games that are going to be participating blizzard is actually on that list now they could just be presenting you know diablo 2 remastered which you know has already been announced that it's it's gonna be a thing or not announced maybe it's a rumor i'm not too sure about that the way articles explain it was that it was announced but i didn't see an official announcement so who knows i'll look into that a little bit better let you know in the next video but most of us know anyway that it's happening so um it could just be that but at the same time it's just a little bit weird that you know it was posted with a price and everything and i think i would assume that the pricing of video games is not really decided until it's fully developed of course, it's not a fact that I know, it's just an assumption, but it would only make sense, even the way Jeff was describing it when he was asked, you know, if um, Overwatch would go free to play, and if Overwatch 2 would be like a discount for anyone who owned Overwatch, and he was saying that, you know, they still hadn't decided the business model because it was still in development. So it's just the kind of thing that makes sense, you know, until it's finished, there's no point in deciding what price it's going to be. and the fact it showed up with a price now i'm not entirely sure if that was intentional or not there seems to be a lot of leaks recently from blizzard for various reasons now this is not an internal leak this was just you know a store that put up the game so it could have been a troll or it could have been someone that was practicing putting up the game maybe they put them up privately and then they make them public when it's announced in something like this summer game event but it's definitely interesting that that happened you know during this time when new games are getting announced to the world so we'll just see anyway i think there are more from today at the time of recording right now it's the 18th of june for me recording this so i think it is possible that there's more that i need to catch up on on the videos for the new game releases so i'll definitely look that information up and see if anything was announced but i would assume that it would already be all over youtube and all over the news blogs online if overwatch 2 had been announced and i don't see it anyway so i think it's safe to assume that it's still not out so this is really it i didn't really have much to cover not much has been happening we can probably expect the summer games event to be happening soon ish last year it happened in july instead of august like every other year before that so there might be a possibility that it'll come out in july this year simply because of course with everything going on in the pandemic and you know people just kind of need something to cheer them up 
um, and to keep them in positive vibes. So I don't think it would be too bad to assume that there's a chance that it might actually come out in July instead of August. So we'll see about that and I'll keep you posted anyway <laughs> if anything comes up. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content that I have been uploading, feel free to subscribe and do remember to press the bell icon after subscribing so that you know when I upload next and feel free to leave comments. I love it when you comment. I love interacting with you guys. I love seeing you guys interact. So do your thing. And lastly, if you would like to join the Discord, there is a Discord link below and I do stream occasionally. So have a click on the two streaming platforms that I have there. Feel free to follow on them and that way you'll get notified when I go live for those as well. In the meantime, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and goodbye.